my name is Joe Weatherby, and I'm the project organizer for the Vandenberg Project, and I work with reef makers. And our partners, Artificial Reefs of the Keys, and the city of Key West, Monroe County, TDC, and the state of Florida. Um, and what you're seeing right now is the Vandenberg Lake, before she set this thing, sitting in that pretty blue water, there's about 200 feet of visibility, and probably something like 2,000 boats watching this thing uh, sink. We had a lot of help. We had really just a, uh, a team of the world's experts, you know, talented insurance people and talented, you know, blasters. We had the world's best blasters. And, you know, we had a cutting team in here that were that were just innovative and, 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 and adaptive. And what we did was, above the water lines, we had cut some holes in the bulkheads of which they were tent. And then, you know, we couldn't cut them too close to the water line because, you know, you don't want it to become an artificial reef any sooner than you want it to, right? Yeah, there, there were there was like something like a hundred truckloads of, of debris and waste and things like that that came off of it. Yeah, we we did we had one shot to make this the world's best wreck dive. Right? We figured for eight and a half million dollar project, we were going to have to the uh, the uh, a well thought out land engineering piece. You know, it wasn't like a kerboom kind of thing like Wile E. Coyote, right? It was a, it was a very controlled and surgical uh, operation. And uh, and the execution was perfect on the part of the blasters. There's a place in these things where art meets science. There were, I believe, 46 charges, about 75, 75 pounds of flex linear uh, shape charges were in the ship. The, the, the ship actually attitude-wise, it went down exactly as we engineered it. That's, that, I gotta tell you, that's just uh, spectacular. And we were about 100 feet away watching her, watching her say. Four million liters, uh, four million liters of, uh, of water filled the ship. One minute, 45 seconds, a new world record. <laughs> and it looks like the world's biggest jacuzzi. With all that, with all that air bubbling out of it, yeah, that's me. Yeah, that's us celebrating right there. I'm the guy in the hard hat. For, for a diver, for what we do, this was like the Super Bowl. We left it on the field and we won the Super Bowl. We did this better than it's ever been done. Um, some of the world famous people that were down here diving it, and they're calling it the world's best back dive. Uh, I, I go every other day. So we wanted something that would have a lot of a lot of eye popping wow factor up top, and the Vandenberg delivers uh, absolutely. Uh, it's got all the big superstructure and king post and mast. And once you dive the Vandenberg, some of the other things that are available, it's sort of like kissing your sister. You know what I mean? Um, it's not that much fun. This marks the spectacular end to the to the Florida Keys historic trip shipwreck trail. You know, the Keys is the world's number one diving destination, and Vandenberg pretty much cements that. The coral reef off the Florida Keys is like every other reef in the world, right? It, it's, it's under pressure. You know, 70-some percent of the people that come down here go out on that reef. So the idea was to design a project that would be attractive enough to take recreational pressure off of the natural reef and put it onto the artificial structure, thereby giving the natural reef a breather. But that kind of that kind of reason doesn't drive eight and a half million dollars in funding. Okay, what drives what drives the funding is is the tourism proposition. Um, and down here in the Keys, the, the the product that we make is our happy vacations, and a lot of that's due to water. So I don't think it's I don't think it's any stretch of the imagination to see the Vandenberg going between ten and fifteen million dollars a year in gross commerce.